Well, this week, uh, and last week for that matter too, students all across the country were going uh, back to school and um, having uh, learning government, government 101, learning about checks and balances and the way that our constitution and our system of government works. And uh, that lesson is one that the Biden administration could benefit from because if you look at just the last few weeks, um, all the things that they've done that have tried to go around and bypass Congress, starting with the uh, student loan bailout program that the president has tried to uh, create sort of out of thin air without any support from Congress. Uh, more recently, the uh, administration now is trying to uh, end hunting and archery programs in schools in this country, uh, again, without any support from Congress, including, I would say, those programs have bipartisan support from, uh, in Congress. And then finally, uh, trying to cancel oil and gas leases in ANWR, something that was approved by Congress back in 2017. Again, no, no authority, no consultation with Congress, completely bypassing uh, the Article I branch of the government. These uh, overreaches and grabs by this administration are indicative uh, of a president and his team who don't understand that these are these policies are policies that need the support and approval of the American people and their representatives in Congress. And the one thing I can tell you is that the Republicans here in the Senate will fight for, continue to fight for energy security in this country and do everything they, we can to stop uh, these crazy policies. We're going to do that on student loans. We're going to do that on the hunting and archery program. We're going to do that on ANWR and energy leases across this country that this president has decided for some reason, I guess in, in uh, deference to his far left political base, try and cancel. American people need these uh, energy projects for our economic security and for our national security.